All right, guys, how's everyone doing? Um, another custom Imaginex video for you today. Uh, just one figure. I know I've been doing multiple figures, but with these civilian rangers, sometimes all it entails makes for a pretty, you know, lengthy video in and of itself. Um, I've been kind of doing these in a lot of order, so I don't know which ones you've seen. Hopefully you've seen all the rangers out display, but uh, yeah, this right now... At the time of this video is all of them. I've been like setting some out and everything, but collection's looking really good as you can see. Full original Ranger set and um, uh, getting started on the uh, replacement Rangers with Adam over there. I already have them out of suits, including Catherine in the back, if you can see her. Very awesome, very excited, getting real close. Uh, so what we're missing now is we're missing Dragon Shield Zack, we are missing, um, of course, uh, civilian, uh, Catherine Hillard, which is what we're making today, right here, and, um, then we're missing civilian Aisha and Rocky. After that, I think we're done with all the civilian and helmetless versions, including the alternate Dragon Shield versions. Really excited about that, um... When I very first started doing this, it seemed like so far away and so many different figures I needed and, and if they were even possible. So I'm really excited to do this. Um, okay, so now on to the actual figure. Cat. All right, this one's going to be done pretty much. And I had to break down because I've started looking for like um, female figures and it's just really hard with female Imaginex figures. So I did have to break down. I'm going to have to do the top kind of a lot like uh, Kimberly. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take the snowboarding figure and I'm going to have to use the Ritmore or Rit Die More Super Pink Die right here. I'm gonna try to use considerably less dye. I'm gonna try to uh, watch it constantly and I'm gonna try to get it a shade lighter, hopefully on the sleeves and on the actual chest. Beforehand, I'm going to shave off the embellishment. Oh, no, actually, I think I'm going to leave the on the embellishment. So, you know, because she needs to be more different than uh, Kimberly and Trini because she'll be right behind her on the display. But uh, another way that I'm going to differ her is I'm going to cut her legs off. That's right. Um, you didn't see this because the Kimberly video got botched. But uh, the torso was just absolutely horrible, the botched Kimberly uh, figure. But the... You know, waist and pants were all right. I didn't know if I'd need them for a future Imagine X figure, so I just decided to take a razor knife and just cut it off right above, you know, above the belt. And it worked very well, and I could just see myself being able to glue this on, like, another figure and give, like, another figure, you know, different pants to kind of, like, make it a little different, see? So the plan I'm going to have is going to dye this figure, uh, pop the hands, pop the head, dye the figure cut the pants off um and uh I'm losing my train of thought here uh, i'm gonna use these hands you know in the uh long sleeves and i'm going to cut and i'm gonna use these pants i'm gonna cut right above the belt and i'm gonna try my best to just glue them on so that's gonna be it Whew, sorry tired if i didn't explain that very well whatever so here's the figure. Uh, the face is not as good, I don't think, as the, let me get her out, as this one. See? I don't know, that one just looks better. Her eyes are just better. I can try to touch her for eyes with a blue marker. Fine tip, but it's a little uh, touch and go. But for the time being, this is what I'm using. So twist the head off. That's step one. Uh, the ZO ones are considerably harder than the other ones because of how... It's actually shaped. They put in extra plastic in there. You actually see me crack, if you haven't already, a turbo figure, which is pretty cool. So, boom. See? When it's not weighted, it doesn't flip right. Add that to the trash pile. Not trash pile. I take all my, like, salvaged rangers and I put them in a bag or a box. Get that off piece of black off there there's the head all right so now what is the next step the next step is going to be to boil this figure pop the hands and the head I may cut the pants off because I may want to keep the pants for a future Imagine X figure well actually I already have a set of those so when will I need to so no pants are gonna get boiled too so pop the head pop the hands um, boil it until it's a color that's what I'm gonna be all right 
see you soon. All right, guys, next update. I boiled the figures, you know, just took some, like, tongs and just held them in some boiling water for, like, six, five, six seconds, you know, uh, soften up the plastic so I could pull the hands out of the snowboarder figure, pull the head out of the snowboarder figure. The head was worrying me because it was starting to rip. As you can see, I don't know if you could see that. It started getting really weak around the neck, and I was really worried about ripping that off, so I kind of destroyed that head you know, as far as like the neck piece, but luckily I actually have, and that's why I keep all the pieces. This snowboarder from my one, either the Trini or the Kimberly head that I popped, so I can just use that one. That's pretty cool. So that'll be garbage, and this will be the actual neck I use. You know, if I don't end up using some other neck, because that is was weird when I did it with the ponytail. But anywho, um, so pop the hands, pop the head. Uh, that's the figure. It's going to be ready for paint. Uh, I don't know if I should cut the, uh, sh I'm probably going to cut the pants off before the, uh, thing, uh, dyeing it. So, I also boiled the figures off this little, uh, submarine or whatever chick. Um, I'll just notice that that's actually the same, like, mold of the, um, snowboarder. It's just painted different. Uh, that's cheesy. So throw that in there for parts. Uh, so we got the hands. Got those little bad boys right there. We got the body and we got the head. Now that's just the torso now. The pants are going to be this. So my next step is probably going to be to saw this figure in half and saw this figure in half. All right. All right, guys, another quick update. Just took a knife and just sawed this bad boy in half right at there. Gives me some nice black pants with some messed up shoes, but anyway. Gives me just a white torso. That's what I got. Just a nice little piece to die. I wish I could split this torso up. It's almost coming off. See? See what I mean? I may try to split this thing up and try to see, especially since I have it exposed at the bottom, maybe a lot easier. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm playing by ear right now, but uh, I also took the figure and sawed it in half. I actually didn't realize, like, I had this one to saw in half, but I actually had this one that I already took the head off and the hands, so um, I sawed it in half. Just took its pants. So, boom. I think it did pretty good. I left a little, like, if you could see, like, a little tail on the end of there, but it kind of fits. I'm gonna try to do what I can to make sure that that fits. Maybe, I don't know. I'm going to work it. I'm going to do whatever I can. Uh, but hopefully that's it right there. And I just need to um, dye the um, torso a color. But, you know, like we've seen with these figures, the lighter, softer plastic dyes so much faster. So if I could pull those two apart, it would be really cool. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, so this is what I did is I set the figure in there in the uh, water and I just like kind of set it in and then I took like a, a slitted metal spoon, you know, a metal spoon with slits in it. I just picked it up, dipped it in, picked it up, dipped it in, picked it up, and I kept doing that until I got something that had the same like sleeves that match kind of the Kimberly figure but the torso very light, light, almost white. I think that's gonna look great. I really do. When it's all put together, cat's gonna be like that. I really think that's gonna be good. I'm gonna ask my wife about the pants because I actually had, I don't have them in there. I cut a few figures and I got a few pants options. Uh, I got some blue jeans. I don't know if she's gonna want that. We're just, we're gonna play it in. But anyway, here it is. Uh, I'm gonna boil the hands uh put the hands in there try to fit what's left of the head that after i cut some head in there so i can glue the stump on there and it's gonna be pretty good all right uh see you in a bit wish me luck all right guys next step this is what i got i boiled the thing i put the uh boiled the torso and the arms and i put the hands in also put the head in. I forgot to do like an update, but I just went ahead and cut it as soon as I got it in there. It was really hard to get in there, so I guess I was just aggravated, so I just took it out and went like, ah! But uh, there she is. There's the pants. There's the head. You can kind of get like a preview of what it's going to look like. Um, 
It's going to look different than Kimberly for sure. I like that. Um, my uh, wife picked out the pants. She had some blue jeans to choose from. One's going to be probably used for Aisha, if I can ever figure out the logistics of that figure. But that will be for another time. Right now, next step is going to be to go ahead and glue this down right there as best as I can get. And uh, then it's going to be to add the head. All right. See you in a bit. All right, boom, not too long, but here's the next update. Got the uh, pants on, the legs um, did pretty good, I think. Lost a little paint right there, that wasn't me. Uh, there's a little bit of seam, I think I'm gonna take like a white paint pen maybe and just try to make that look like it's part of the belt. Um, came out pretty good, I think. Uh, I'm gonna now take the Lego block technique that I do, fit the Lego block on top of there. And then the head on top of there, and next update should be complete. Sorry, I hit the whole table. All right, see you in a bit. All right, guys, last video, because as you can see, she is done. I glued the pants, you know, as you saw in the last thing, and now I just glued, put the head on. She looks great, I think. Uh, you know, the best I can do, it's really... Um, Scrape of the bottom barrel as far as like female figures that I can actually, you know, alter the colors of, of civilian clothes. But I think she looks good. Uh, here's her next to the uh, helmetless cat. Pretty cool, I think. Um, let me think. Next video is probably going to be... Um, next video hopefully will be a helmetless Rocky. And if I can ever get the um, another Aisha figure, then a helmetless Aisha figure. And as soon as I get a Zack uh, figure in, which I actually got a whole lot of them in the mail, I'll be throwing a shield, Dragon Shield Zack in there. So really cool stuff. Got a lot coming up. Uh, see you next time. This one took me a while, so I am absolutely exhausted. Say bye, cat. Bye, cat.